Welcome back to my channel, Next in Food. I am your diva chef, Simone Walkerberry. Today, I want to show you how to make breadfruit codfish fritter. Yes, breadfruit is in season in Jamaica, and I happen to have a breadfruit tree in my backyard. So, whenever breadfruit is in season, I have to get creative and do something with the abundance of breadfruit. Now, in this container, I have some breadfruit. This breadfruit was just boiled and mashed coarsely. And um, I'm going to be adding some other stuff to it. I'm adding some flour, some onions, scotch bonnet pepper, tomato, bell peppers, saltfish that was soaked, boned and flaked, lots of scallion, some yeast, to make it nice and airy some butter for extra flavor and an egg just to bind everything together so let's make some breadfruit fritter all right let's make some breadfruit fritters in here as i said earlier i have one small breadfruit that was boiled and then i just mashed it so to this i'll be adding some scallions some bell peppers, some tomatoes, scotch bonnet pepper, a small white onion, and salt fish. This salt fish was soaked and flaked. I'm gonna add some salt fish in. Then I wanna just combine. Okay, so now that we have combined the breadfruit and all the seasoning with the salt fish, I'm going to combine my liquid ingredient. I'm using an egg with half cup of water. I'm just going to whisk that together. To this, I want to add some salt, like a half teaspoon of salt. And then I'm adding half cup of flour. What the flour does, it helps to bind the breadfruit together. However, if you are gluten intolerant, feel free to make this recipe without the flour. You can mash the, the breadfruit much softer and it will bind itself together. In this container, I have some yeast. I love adding yeast to this recipe because it makes the fritter nice and light. I also add baking powder. So I have the yeast and I have baking powder. You can find yeast in the baking section in your supermarket. If you cannot find yeast, just use the baking powder. Now to the flour batter, I'm going to be adding the breadfruit with all the seasoning that was added before. Now this is a great little party snack and it's great. It's a good breakfast idea. So um, if you're having a little get together and you don't know what to serve, you can serve this. You can put anything in it. If you're vegan, you can take the salt fish out and just add more seasoning to it. I am going to add some all purpose seasoning and then some butter. This is just softened butter. I find that the breadfruit benefits from the addition of some fat. This is a very chunky, I call it a fritter because I'm just going to mold it and deep fat fry it and it's going to be soft and delicious on the inside and very crunchy on the outside. So this is what our breadfruit dough looks like. It's, I don't know if it's really a dough, but it's more like a, a thick batter. And so I'm gonna portion this and fry it at 350. All right, it's time to fry our breadfruit fritter. I'm using a two ounce scoop this time. And just portion and lower them into the 
art oil. Everything in here is very easy to cook. So we're just looking for some golden color on the outside. So I want to put like five fritter in at a time so I don't crowd the oil. And I have my set up here. Alright guys, so our breadfruit fritter, they're out of the oil, they're crisp on the outside and tender on the inside. I just want to show you what the inside looks like. They're hot and absolutely delicious. Try this recipe today. Breadfruit is getting a moment. If you don't have breadfruit, potatoes or any starchy root vegetables will do just fine. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. I'll see you next time. Take care.